today I would like to talk to you about the uh, mistakes some doctors do and it goes unnoticed and uh, usually there was no uh, complaint or malpractice suit. Uh, first and all is error in medication. They give you uh, drugs that contraindicated with each other and they give you many of them and the more symptoms it shows up the more weird diagnosis they give you and there now fortunately you can check your medication on the internet and to see if there is a contraindication or not uh, so error in medication is uh, one of the most important uh, surgery uh, most cases of surgery uh, fortunately end successfully but uh, some of them due to error in anesthesia or sometimes they leave a scalpel or scissor inside the abdomen a towel uh, these are mostly due to negligence uh, they do not actually uh, careful and also uh, a big problem with doctors now is the large huge volume of customers they have to see every day not because they are famous but because uh, they have diseases and they created diseases to their all the customers that they usually come for more and more advice and medication so we said error in medication we said surgery and the most common is to give for example this guy uh, was uh, allergic to this anesthesia and he died uh, another one uh, the anesthesia gave him uh, liver necrosis uh, or epidural uh, injection uh, causes lower extremities to be uncontrolled mobility or uh, chronoscopy that uh, cause uh, the motility of the colon cause an evacuation you have center in the brain and then the muscles that evacuate and during colonoscopy the motility of the colon may be lost and this is usually uh, due to uh, carelessness uh, and uh, inexperience incompetent in taking the myopsy so we have to look carefully to what these doctors, I am not anti-doctor or anti-medicine, but I am anti-fraud and I am anti-using uh, uh, people as a trap uh, to get rich quick. Uh, these are a no-no policy in medical uh, field. Uh, those people that want to get rich very quick have to find another job. Uh, they can go to gamble, but in medicine you have to work hard to attain a good standard that people can trust and come to see you. Uh, we talked about so many things now and hopefully uh, next time I would like to give you a specific malpractice suits, how they uh, did come out and how uh, the court uh, make a judgment on these cases. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Sayam. And we'll talk about natural health insurance in our next video. Goodbye. Have a good day.